I'm gonna try not to be. Ugh. Okay, we got a minute left. It's 8.59. And I'm sitting here dressed like Mermaid Man. I promise you, for those, anybody that's just tuning in right now, we are... We, we spent 10 hours hunting down Binacle Boy, and it didn't happen. Okay, see you guys on the other side. This is going to get gross. I'm not ready for this. I'm not good at reacting to things. Or maybe I'm too good, and it's annoying. Oh, my lord. I'm going to pee myself. I should have peed before. Do I have time? No, I don't. We got 30 seconds. The, pe the mask gives me the strength to do this. Otherwise, I don't think I'd, I'd be able to. Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. To begin, Please take a look at this video. Oh god, here it comes, here it comes. No, 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 no. I can't do it. I want to leave. Oh my god, it's, this game's so beautiful. What is going on? Is that the rival? Oh my god, he's handsome. Gameplay of the starters. It doesn't take much, I'm gonna cry. They look crazy good. Who's she? Is that, that was a professor? Yo! Oh my god! Did you guys see those Pokemon? Oh my god! They're so freaking cool looking! Oh my god! My heart's racing so fast right now. Okay. What the heck is that? What is that Pokemon? Oh my god! I can't do this. What is this game, dude? What? What the hell am I watching right now? There's a bike. I can't do this. Yo, what the heck's going on? What is this? What is this? Is this a raid? Are we at a raid right now? Is this a literal Pokemon Go raid? Yo, what the hell? That's gotta be the- is that a gym? Is this the gym? Is this how gyms work? What is she doing? Am I in a dream right now? What the heck am I watching right now? That had to be the gym, right? I guess it wasn't. I don't know what the heck that was. Yo, he looks cool. What's that? Ugh, I can't do it, dude. That, see, it is the gym. Or does that happen every time? Why are they huge? What is this, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? Oh my god. Dude, these characters look sick. These people look so cool. Oh my god. Don't even try to pretend that there was risk that that wasn't going to be amazing. Hi, I'm Omori from Dallas, Game shut up. What did you think of the video? Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world. Right Junichi, here I love your Game method. Offices where development is underway. Dude, the Pokemon they showed off were gorgeous, the dude. Character who resides in the Galar region. After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other what locations you? filled with rich personality. Why not? Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. 
Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. Dude, this is sick. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. Amen. They know the drill, dude. To tell you more about some of the Pokemon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James, yes, the we're art gonna get director. We're going to get more details. This is sick, hey, dude. Jamie. That was enough for me. These. Hello. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. Dude, I love James Turner! I the art director for these games. There are a lot of never-before-seen Pokemon that await you in the Galar region. That's my region. guy, dude! But allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokemon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. Hey. This Pokemon's Wooloo. defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Galar region who use it to craft popular specialty goods. This Pokemon here is Gossifleur, the oh, flowering Gossifleur? Pokemon. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water. Yeah, I bet and it its does. its pollen is said to have healing properties. This next Pokemon this guy is, is my called favorite. Dreadnor, the bite oh, Pokemon. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. He's sick, its dude. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. I love him. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. Corviknight, it puts leader its of the Gorgonites. When working as a flying taxi, which will take the player back to any town he or she has previously visited. Yo. As many of you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. Gossifleur is one of these Pokemon. We're gonna see the evolutions right now? When Gossifleur evolves... This is the evolutionary screen too. Oh, we saw him already. It becomes okay. Elder Goss. We saw that one. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote oh growth gosh. in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. That's all I can show you this time. Dude. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. Okay. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. This is insane, dude. Did it look like there were overworld encounters, or am I crazy? There were a lot of overworld Pokemon. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. And where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. Okay. This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are Wait. and what the weather is like. What the weather you changes! The weather changes for you each day. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera, allowing you to better search for items and Pokemon. You can search control far the camera and wide in the tall grass, in the skies above, and even in the lakes, for you never know what you might find. Dude. In certain locations in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives okay. it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing Dynamax? opens up new possibilities yeah, in the heated cool. battles performed like by Nitro trainers Red. and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. Dude, this is blowing my mind right now. Dynamax. Yeah, I guess so. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. This is so wild. 
Is this only a gym thing? All the thing? moves they know turn into powerful maximums. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. Is it any so, battle? You need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Oh my god. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area that. we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles, in which four Pokemon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokemon. That's like a raid. Max Raid. I freaking knew it, dude. It looked in like Max a raid. raid Battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Cross and medium. Not only that, force. it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid Battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. It's like reverse hordes, we. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. But can they be shiny? The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid Battles also vary depending on where you are in the Where's wild thing? area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in Max Raid Battles. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills wonder, against a variety of Pokemon. I wonder if they're going to have like a higher shiny rate. They probably Max will. Max Raid Battles feature strategic, cooperative four-player gameplay against a single that, Pokemon, they'll, or they'll be which is completely. a first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. What say down there? So I hope you'll try Max Raid battles with all sorts of other players. So you can do it online. That's kind of sick. This guy, though. You want to talk about sick. These character designs. Next, Insane. I would like to introduce some of the people you'll encounter on your adventure. This guy is the greatest trainer in the Galar region, and also the current champion. His name is Leon. In a region where Pokemon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Galar. He's Gallery. a prince! Look at this dude! He's the dripping in it! The has a younger brother, who also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. Did we not talk about this Hop earlier? We said this! Did they say younger brother? Like brother? We literally said that earlier! Every day towards this goal. We were talking about that! His journey through the Galar region begins on the same day as yours. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support the from heck, these dude? two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Magnolia. Galar region and specializes in researching the Dynamax phenomenon. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. She cute too. Their abundant wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. The gyms look so sick though. This is crazy. This is probably the first gym. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon gyms in the Galar region. Okay. You and your rival will need to take on the Shut Pokemon up. gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamaxed. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams. So you will need to counter them. That's kind of like totems. Own. That's like essentially the same thing as like the big totem Pokemon. They Battles have between two stats. Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to Is reach its mood? peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the grass type expert, Milo. I like him. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokemon and you will have to overcome his tenacious Dude, fighting so style pumped. to continue your journey. Look forward to facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. 
We've shown off quite a bit today. Yeah, I should say but so. But I have one more video I would like you to see. No, 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 I can't do this again. Please take a look. The legends. Give me those box legends. Come on, baby. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be just like Journey and Evil Tall. Yes! Oh no, I can't do it! I can't! I can't do it! Yo, oh my god! What the heck is that? I told you, look, they're gonna look! Counterparts! We knew it, dude! Minor aesthetic changes, very similar in design, just like we said. Oh my god. There they are. I freaking knew it, baby. Those things are gorgeous, and they're going to have amazing shinies, and they're going to be shiny lock, which sucks. Here comes the third, though. They're showing up their joining forces. Dang it. We didn't see the third. The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are, in fact, legendary Pokemon yeah, of the Gala region. I knew it. Called Zacian and Zamazenta. Yo, those names are sick! Look forward They're going to be even when I know what they mean. <laughs> just what role Zacian and Zamazenta will play in the story. Oh my god, dude. I hope you enjoyed today's Pokemon Oh my Pokemon god, Direct. dude. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and a Pokemon Shield. A small part. Shield. That was huge! There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. Dude, I'm, I'm on Team Sword for now. We're putting everything we've Those got here at Game Freak so into cool. making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Dude, yo, what do they got on those papers? Please, Please look, look forward, forward to, to it. it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Are you kidding me? Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. There we go. There's the release date, Pokemon baby. Pokemon Sword. November 15th. Shield. November. Mid-November. November 15th. You guys were saying, no, it's too late in the game. We're not getting in November. We'll get it in December, just like Smash. I knew it. November, today, dude. Yes. You can pre-order a special double pack. Oh, my pack. God. Stay tuned for more information. You can get the double pack? Oh, my gosh. I'm doing that. I hope you look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Galar region. Thank oh you for Lord, watching. Oh, my Lord, dude. These games are gorgeous. Look at them. Look at those things! Holy crap! More like holy shanks, dude. That was insane. That was insane. I can't believe everything they just unloaded onto us. I mean, we've been waiting a hot second. But to have all of that happen just now, there's so much to process. We gotta unpack so much of that, dude. That's crazy. Based on the Pokemon they showed us, those Pokemon... Really, let's take a look. I got it pulled up right here. Can I do it? Can I go back through? I can't. Dang it, dude. It's going to be on YouTube right now. I can't believe what I just saw. Based on just those Pokemon alone that they showed us, this generation's Dex is shaping up to be something unlike any other. That dude with the jaw? What was his name? We're going to call him Dino? Dino Jaw? That's essentially, I think pretty much that's what his name was. Holy crap, dude. That was my guy. Yeah, where was Twin Cape? <laughs> Dude, those legendaries, I knew it. Of course we knew, everybody knew, but that that was so freaking crazy. The two dog legendaries, very similar in design, minor aesthetic changes. I knew it. But it does look like somebody t somebody clocked me. They, they said, you know, they're probably gonna be yielding a sword and a shield, and guess what, baby, they are. So you guys were completely accurate in that, and so I'll, I'll bite the dust on that one for sure, because those are amazing designs. And it's incorporated in the overall design, which is all I wanted from that. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. And they were like joint, they were like coming together to fight a third legendary, but we didn't get a look at it. They're like, put a pin in it, we'll come back to it. And I'm like, okay, Game Freak, I see you. I don't know how I feel about the Dynamax, is that what it's called? Dynamax where there's a giant Pokemon. I'm not huge on like battle gimmicks too often, especially ones that they kind of force you into using. And so we'll have to play that by ear. I thought it was going to be essentially just a gym thing and it seems as though it's going to be in any game, which is kind of crazy or in any battle. And so that's going to be kind of weird. The raids, oh, you know, that's something that has to be expected. That makes sense that we got raids in there, but I am interested to see and intrigued to know 
if the shiny rates, first of all, if those uh, Dynamax raid or whatever Pokemon have like a raised shiny rate of any kind or whether or not uh, they'll even be able to be shiny at all. Because in Pokemon Go, the shiny rates for raids are like way higher than anything else. And it's because you're seeing so few of them. So it makes a lot of sense to me as if, if they're not shiny locked and they're, they're very like regular Pokemon, right? It's like they're fully evolved. So we got Quagsire, we, we saw Clefable, we saw a Weavile. But at the end of the day, uh, those are nothing too special. They're fully evolved. So I'm wondering whether or not you'll be able to get them shiny. I am. Of course, my mind goes back to that. That was crazy, though. And what about this, like, wild encounter world? What the heck was that, dude? Yeah, now we know they, why they were talking about Godzilla. Those giant creatures. Uh, it was more referential than we expected. You have to make shiny speculations? Oh, baby, I'm on it. I will. I will. Wild area. The wild area seems crazy. Oh, man, dude. Oh, my God. I don't know what to do about this. What am I supposed to do after that? I freaked the heck out, dude. When they showed us those Pokemon in the split screen, that was the best way they could have done that. And then we saw that... What was his name? I made a reference. It sounded like Gorgonite. It was... Goronite? Is that what, was that what its name was? Goronite? Corvinite. That's what it was. That's going to be essentially it's they said it's like a taxi pokemon so that's like we're gonna get to see new pokemon which is so refreshing as like ride pokemon that's basically what i got from that and that's such a cool looking pokemon that was such all the pokemon they showcased were so cool having james turner be such a huge part of this was the icing on the cake for me that man has designed so many of my favorite pokemon guzzlord the poipo line like the dude crushes it so to see him uh, get such a prominent part, knowing that he plays such a prominent role in these games, sets my heart at ease. I think this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning when it comes to these Pokemon designs, dude. We are going to have a crazy Pokedex when it comes to Sword and Shield. We are not ready. We are not ready. I feel like they barely scratched the surface here.